The easiest way to understand cell structure and function is to compare and visualize cell with some familiar structures like a factory. It's almost like a mini factory within our bodies. By the end of the video, you will have an interactive understanding of various cell structures and their functions. Let us begin with nucleus. Nucleus is analogous to the headquarters or CEO's office of a factory, where CEO along with managers will decide on products and gives timely instruction for the smooth running of the factory. Inside cell, nucleus is the instruction center, where instruction for the synthesis of products or proteins is coded as DNA. It is protected by a nuclear membrane, ensuring its protection from the rest of the cell. Next is the cytoplasm, which is present in all types of cells. It can be compared to the premise, area or factory floor where everything is happening. It is the fluid-filled matrix of the cell where all organelles, water, salts and various organic molecules are present. The ribosomes are similar to the machines in a factory where different products required are made. Ribosomes are protein-synthesizing nanomachines that synthesize proteins required for the cell. Once the product is made, it is to be polished and transported for packaging. Here comes the endoplasmic reticulum, which is analogous to the conveyor belt of a factory through which products are modified and moved for packing. ER is an interconnected membranous system where proteins are modified and transported. Next is the Golgi apparatus, which is similar to the sorting and packaging center of a factory, where products are packed and addressed to reach the correct location. It is the sorting center of the cell, where proteins are chemically tagged or addressed to reach the correct location within a cell or to export outside of the cell. Vesicle is similar to factory trolleys, which transport packaged products to various parts of a factory for shipment. Proteins are packaged in vesicles that are pinched off from the Golgi apparatus and transported to specific locations within the cell or outside of the cell. Next organelle is the lysosome, which is similar to the factory incinerator, where waste materials are disposed and degraded. A lysosome is a membrane-bound cell organelle with digestive enzymes that digest and recycle material taken up from outside the cell and to degrade biomolecules of the cell itself. Next organelle is the mitochondrion, which can be compared to the power plant of the factory, where electric current is generated and supplied to different location within the factory for the day-to-day -day activities. Mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the cell producing energy as ATP by cellular respiration, thus providing energy for all cellular activities. The cell membrane is analogous to the guarded gate of a factory, where credentials are checked before entry. It is a semi-permeable membrane of the cell that has specialized channels for entry and exit of molecules guarded by proteins. It is present in all types of cells, that is in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. As plants are autotrophs or producers, plant cell has another organelle called chloroplast, involved in the synthesis of food or glucose by photosynthesis. It is just like kitchen or canteen in the factory. In plant cell, apart from cell membrane, there is a rigid outer wall made up of cellulose called cell wall. It's similar to the factory wall, which is a massive wall that surrounds the factory. Finally, in plant cells, instead of lysosome, there is a big central vacuole with all digestive enzymes for biomolecule destruction and recycling, similar to a waste disposal unit or factory incinerator. Hope you understand the functions of cell structures. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much.